Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Ryan Fish. Pat and Heidi have the night off. We begin with our community mourning the loss of Dr. Meixner. He's the U of A professor shot and killed by a former student last Wednesday. Nine on your side's Perla Shaheen attended his funeral today, and she gives us a firsthand account of just how Dr. Meixner touched people's lives. Perla. Well, Ryan, the funeral happened here early this morning and everyone walking into the church was handed this button and this pamphlet with a photo of Thomas Meixner smiling on the front. And the most heartbreaking thing for me during the whole service was looking at his casket just a few feet away and looking at this photo that was so human and so friendly. It really is just a reminder that this could have happened to anyone. Looking from outside his funeral, it's easy to see that Thomas Meixner wore many hats. He was scoutmaster for the church's Boy Scout troop. He was the head of hydrology and atmospheric sciences at the University of Arizona. He was a mentor to his son's teammates on the Sal Point cross country team and a friend to all. We didn't bring cameras inside the church out of respect to the family, but I sat there for the service. Meixner's sons, Brendan and Sean, and his wife, Kathleen, spoke through their tears about his life. They said he was masterful at being present with others, and he exuded goodness in everything he did. Meixner was taller than most, but would hug like a teddy bear. And he was a living encyclopedia who talked about everything under the sun and the sun itself. Quite a bit of the water falls and goes back to the sky eventually, right? Friends and family comforted each other after the heartfelt service. Many brought to tears by the loss of a man whose life was so full but cut too short. Members of Meixner's family carried his casket out of the church. And Meixner was then taken with a police escort to Holy Hope Cemetery, where only those closest to him could lay his body to rest. The day after Meixner's death, there was a heavy rainfall near the university, and as the head of the hydrology department, Meixner loved the rain. His family said during the service that they saw this as his last gift before departing the earth. Live at St. Cyril's Parish, Perla Shaheen, KGUN 9, on your side. All right, thank you for that update, for being there today, Perla. The former student investigators uh, say killed Dr. Meixner. Murad Dervish is back in court on Monday. State troopers caught Dervish running from the scene near Gila Bend last Wednesday. Court documents show U of A police found five knives, two guns, plus mace and a machete in his car. Dervish is in the Pima County Jail with no, bow, no bond. 